Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Uh oh, looks like we have something wrong. I was just playing around with this new Agilent 3000 series and look, not a, it started to lock up. The first thing I noticed was that the menu options just <laughs> did absolutely nothing and then I started getting all this garbage and tearing on the display. And now, trust me, that ain't a signal because there's nothing going in there. That is something has gone horribly wrong with like the acquisition uh, frame buffer, the capture engine, something like that. That's actually putting all that garbage on there. I have no idea what, but something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Let's try a reboot and see if it fixes it. Wait a bit, switch it back on. It'll take a while because uh, these things take about 30 seconds to boot. No, look, look, it's completely, it's completely died. It has completely died. No, hang on, I saw a little flicker of life there. No, no, it is completely and utterly dead. Let me disconnect the mains. Plug it back in. Shouldn't have to do that because the uh, power switch is actually a real power switch. It's not just a soft module power switch. No, it is uh, fail. It's completely and utterly died. What a loser. When it first failed, I could have sworn that I smelled something, that characteristic electronic burning swell where the magic smoke has escaped and, well, I just can't smell it anymore. Try the fan. Not really. It's, it's, it's gone. So, uh, I don't think I was imagining that. I've smelt that a million times in my career. It's just, I reckon something went poof. That's... $12,000 magic smoke. Love it. Well, the first rule of troubleshooting is thou shall check voltages. And that's exactly what I've done. I've checked all the rails. There's plenty of different rails in this thing and they all look spot on. So uh, I don't think it's, um, at first glance, it doesn't appear to be anything to do with the power supply. I'd love to troubleshoot this further, but quite frankly, I don't have the time. So I'll just ship it back to Agilent with a big fail sticker on it and they can investigate it and let us know what went wrong with it. $12,000 scope, brand spanking new out of the box, work for a little bit and then poof! Ha! Oh well, shit happens. See ya.